Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're almost there. I'm going to zoom you out here a little wide angle. We have our Ender 3 V2 Neo finally printing. Yes, sort of. At least it's sticking at this point. Uh, what I found out is no matter how good my Z offset was, my flow, my E steps, nothing would stick until I put Elmer's purple glue on there. Once I put a thin coating of that, everything is sticking. That doesn't mean this is without issues, because if I zoom in here, you can see right there, I am getting some blobs coming off. I've got my retraction. I had it at 65. It was pretty good last time. I've got my retraction speed now up to 75 on this print. Probably have to back it back down, but this is going to be a hidden piece. Um, so that's working over there. Over here, we have my Ender 3 Pro working away and printing some dual offset snaps for da -da -da -da, coming in here something that's almost done it has been such a long grueling process fighting with the printers and getting this printed this is a really big wall we're talking 72 inches by i think it was close to 40 one inches, so uh, what's that? 72, six feet by almost four feet. So it's it's a pretty big wall um, of multi-board eight by eight grids. Uh, you can go back and watch. <clears throat> I've got these two printed right here. Um, this one's the one that's going back there. That's being that's being printed. That's being printed. Uh, but it means I got to print that one and I have that one right here, but you know, my wall kind of bends in a little bit at the top because nothing's ever straight. And because of that, because it's such a tight fit from left to right, right to left, I think I'm going to have to modify this. I'm not going to reprint it. I'm just going to either cut off a row or cut off these notches until I get where I need to. It is what it is. I'll put a little shelf up there and you just won't see it. Um, so yeah. That's where we are. This is a quick update. The end is in sight. Once I get once I get these this up, that up, and the last three, I can drill it in because right now it's kind of loose. Oh, I don't want that to fall down. I've got I've got all the way up to here um, screwed in with anchors. Now I'll do this side. I will say I probably should have assembled the whole board and then done that. Um, it would give me, you know, maybe some tighter tolerances. I am with this running into, they are printing, which is great, but I can see the quality is starting to fall off more so over here on my little workhorse. I've, I've noticed on this print that even though it levels before each print, I am getting some wispies that I wasn't getting before. This thing has been rock solid, steady, giving me what I needed, slow as molasses, but I've been getting good prints off of it. This has been the redhead stepchild that has hated me uh, since I took ownership of it. And um, yeah, we're finally coming to an agreement. Uh, I'll give you a little something, you know, I'll give you an allowance of glue. You'll give me something back that is resembling multi-board. And when we're all done, I do have some ideas. I am going <clears> to, <throat> I think, strip this down again and reassemble it. Because, you know, I hear some weird noises. I, I've watched a lot of videos. Um, I've seen about taking off these top things, about seeing if the Zs are all lined up. So we're going to see. That thing, if it's not the death of me, well, it might be the death of me, is going to be put back together. Um, that one's going to be calibrated. I do have, I got them on Amazon Prime, mid-prime day, the prime event, whatever. I got a couple Sprite Pro, Sprite Extruder Pro kits to go with that. And I also have a Sonic Pad. So I'm going to get that thing to print. I really am. It's going to, it is going to kneel. It is going to bow to me and print at some point something without blobs in the first layer. Hey, if you know what I'm doing wrong, please let me know. Also, before I forget, probably should have started the video with this. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, thanks for watching. I'm Doug, and I'm almost done with multi-board! Yes!